Good evening, everyone. The time here is uh, 7.53 in the evening. We are on March 24, 2023. This is an update of gold price on the world market. March 18, the price of gold is 1,988.11 per ounce. Today, March 24, the gold is 1,990.68 per ounce. In dollar terms, is 64,996.95. Today is Friday. Last banking, deep banking opening in New York Stock Exchange. Monday, the price of gold might be 65. Or today, in your time, because you are in the morning, and we are down under, we are on the evening, might $65,000 per kilo. Because today, the price is 64,996. 64, the price of gold changes every half an hour. I'll go back to the world market. Just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the price of gold is uh, high and low. So you, I hope you are observing the movement of gold on the world market. Okay? I hope. Don't depend on Wilhelmina because Wilhelmina is very busy. I am interviewing the buyer in order for the buyer to secure gold properly. Now we are on $64,000, 996. Remove the 996. I will say $64,000 per kilo on the world market. There is a saying, supply and demand determine the price. Right. Everybody buy raw materials. Everybody buy raw materials in order to refine, to make into $1, $2, to make into spare parts on mobile phone, to make into full state, to make into ring, to make into necklace like this, to make into 99.99. .99. Without raw materials, your business would not function, wouldn't function. Because raw material is the key to, a, to the world's business. Central bank buying gold. Where the central bank buying gold? They buy gold to Africa. Africa is the main source. There's a lot of deceitful sellers in Africa. They call that a scammer. A scammer means the seller deceiving you and you are deceiving yourself. Why? Because you're asking for CIF cost insurance and freight only. It is impossible. The government would no longer allow their property to be smuggled. Dubai is a hub of smuggling. Dubai now is getting strict because Dubai has been what's out. Dubai has been watched by international monetary. There's a lot of uh, smugglers use Dubai to smuggle gold. They call that as a gold laundering. So that is not my business. I just read the articles that gold from Africa, they bring it to Dubai and then from Dubai they, they refine it and bring it to India. The gold turn into jewelry. There's so many smugglers in this industry. I would not advise you to smuggle it. I rather advise you buy in a proper way. Right. Today is Friday, as I've said. So the price of gold, it varies time to time. Right. So the price of gold, high and low. Now, bank now, because there is a possibility that the gold will turn to 65. And there was a prediction in Kitco that the gold will turn to 3,000. 500 middle of 2023 assuming um, two months from now the gold will turn to 3500 assuming don't bank on it uh, okay this could be 3500 times 32.15 this could be so I don't know you gold trader, you are running around and thinking you can get the gold. 
Now I just read the kit code that um, next week they are pushing to have 2,000 per ounce. 2,000 per ounce times 32.15. This could be. Mm -hmm. In fact, today it's already 64. Right. So the price of gold is 1,991.88 per ounce. It's already 64. Right. So I don't know how much you can afford. And you are run, run, running around. You went to Kampala. You went to Nairobi because you were being offered under value. Mr. Bayer, if you're watching my video, you're also a fool. You were being offered to pay taxes. What happened? You went to Kampala, right? I just finished chatting with you. Mm -hmm. And what happened? You fell. And then you search gold on youtube my video pop up into your screen mm -hmm. i just finished talking to you mr buyer and this buyer is from japan and they are going to buy and ship it to korea because gold has many uses gold can make into spare parts on anything so the main source is africa you underestimate Africa. You did, Mr. Bayer. You did. There was a video, I think three years ago. <clears throat> there was a meeting with an ECOWAS member. <clears throat> the guest speaker was from Switzerland, the ambassador of Switzerland. I was watching on the video. I forgot the video. It's on YouTube. And you know that Switzer uh, the ambassador from Switzerland, he, she said, to all members of ECOWAS, Mr. President, we from Switzerland, we are buying raw materials in your country. We are here to do business. Right. And you, a small trader, you are a crook, you are a fool, thinking you can buy gold, pay taxes. What happened? The gold didn't arrive and you left Kampala failure because the gold cannot leave the country unless you pay. There is no way you can get the gold CIF cost insurance and freight only. I mentioned that on every video. Now this buyer, he searched on YouTube and my video pop up into his phone and I just finished chatting with him. And I told him which video you watch. And he said he, he watched three videos. And I told him, did you really listen? Or did you really read the full corporate offer? And I have given him a video on March 18, video one and video two. Now this video, exactly the same. The full corporate offer is on this video. Click below. It says show more. Subscribe so that you will be updated time to time. Now, I only come on YouTube live and also on my Facebook because I always updated the price on the world market. <clears throat> now, I'm going to check again because every half an hour the price of gold changes. okay now so the price of gold is 1994.76 it is 64 132.98 today is friday so the last banking is today which is friday in new york so what's out the movement of gold? I can tell you on Monday, this gold will be $65,000 per kilo. So Mr. Buyer, how are you able to afford? If you don't have a capital, if you're asking is BLC, if you're asking escrow, or if you're asking letter of credit, and then you're asking for CIF, you're going to burn your fingers and then you travel and then you are 
going to fail. Last year, 2022, I met a guy from Dubai. He stayed in Noom Hotel and he was been talking to me. He didn't believe me. And uh, he was been dealing with different offer, undervalued. And when he arrived and he stayed in Noom Hotel, which I was there because 2022, I traveled four times in one particular in Conakry. So when he arrived in Conakry, he stayed at Noom Hotel and he sent me a text that he is in Noom Hotel. Mm -hmm. Not knowing I was also staying at Noom Hotel during the time. I think that was June. And I met him before he flew to Conakry. He was been chatting with me. There were three of them. And he said that they are a buyer. One from United States, one from UK, and one for, for uh, United Kingdom, uh, United Arab. There were three. So they are dealing with a big buyer according to them. So I've given them an opportunity. <clears throat> so he has been comparing prices to prices. And they said, well, Amina, your price is too expensive. And I told him, well, you're buying expensive item. A real seller would not sell under value. Because there is VAT, there is value added tax on every item you purchase anywhere in the world, even in Japan. The buyer, he said that he's a buyer, he's from Japan. I told him, you buy goods in Japan, there is always VAT. And you went to Kampala, you, you have been offered cheap price, and the gold is coming from Congo, United Nations embargo. Mm -hmm. You must remember, three years ago, a royal family was being duped in Kampala. The royal family, the nephew dealing with the politician, they're all crooks. Politicians are crooks. Mm -hmm. So they were in the news, international news. So the royal family was also naive. I don't know why, what happened. He lost $24 million. Mm -hmm. So the sell, my seller have a lesson. He would not give his gold under value. He wouldn't. And you know what my seller was saying? The buyer who asking for cheap price, he's going to end into disaster. Mm -hmm. Because the government would not give certificate of clearance that the gold is free of illegal activities. Now the requirement that you are going to receive when you pay the gold, it is in here, in front of you. Click below, it says show more. The full corporate offer will explain to you the, the documentation, what documentation you are going to comply. Your company letterhead, your business registration, your importation license, your passport copy, and the proof of fund that you have a million dollar. Right. So you're scared to show your documentation because you are not a buyer. You're not. If you come to me and I'm going to ask you, how did you meet Wilhelmina? And you're going to say, I found you on YouTube. Did you listen to the video? Did you really read the full corporate offer? Impossible. You don't understand. When you saw my video, you are excited. You are lazy to read. I have given you the food into your plate, but you don't know how to use a spoon and fork. I'm using a business psychology here. Mm -hmm. So... You don't believe on Wilhelmina. You've been following me for years. And then he, you went to Kampala. Right? There's so many buyers knows me. So many joker broker knows me. They come to my platform on Facebook. They come to my platform on YouTube. At least you learn. At least you see the real procedure. And if you cannot introduce yourself that you are not really a buyer if you don't know how to introduce yourself especially you are hiding your picture you're hiding yourself 
because you're scared to be identified. If you're scared to be identified, to me, you're a smuggler. If you're scared to be identified on video call, to me, you're, you're a gold launderer. Yes, because I'm not scared. This is my virtual office. I'm based in Australia. I'm based in Queensland, Brisbane. I'm not scared to show my face. I am here, Mr. Baya, to do business with you. I am your business facilitator. At the same time, the seller hired Wilhelmina to market, to tell the world that Africa is the main source of precious mineral. Australian mining companies are, are all over Africa. Italian group of company are all over Africa. Why? We are getting these precious minerals. They are getting the wealth of Africa and bring it to their country to refine into different uses. Mm -hmm. Some of the buyer, they bring gold to Dubai because Dubai is a hub. I understand that. Every time I go to Africa, I always stop over in Dubai. I know the trick of the buyers in Dubai. Where did I put this jewelry? In gold sock. Where the gold coming from? The raw materials from Africa. I've been to the jewelry manufacturer and the gold that they he refined is coming from Africa. All right. And you cannot fool me, Mr. Baya. Yeah. There's so many joker buyers in Dubai. They said, oh, well, Amina, I'm the buyer, bring the gold to Dubai. No, we don't bring gold to Dubai, unless you identify yourself. No, we don't give you gold for nothing. You're buying money to make money. Why should we give you to leverage? And why are we going to give you to launder my seller's gold? Don't you know to mine is not easy? Every week, my seller lost his worker because of the contamination of mercury and you mr buyer you're sitting down in your chair thinking you can get the profit yes you can get the profit if you have the capital yeah you're buying world asset the gold will not come to you mr buyer i just finished talking to you but i don't want to mention your name so that you would not be embarrassed mm -hmm. i'm just explaining to you Whoever you are, Mr. Buyer or Mr. Seller. There are so many sellers offering you, Mr. Buyer, under value 35, 38, 40, 42. What happened to this Japanese? He went to Kampala. He didn't get the gold. And then suddenly, he searched on YouTube. He found this tough lady. Everybody's scared of me. Why are you scared of Wolamina? You, you should not be scared. You should be thankful because I'm the only woman who show my face. Most of the joker broker are hiding. They are hiding their faces. Most of the smuggler are also hiding their faces. Why? They don't want to be identified that they are a smuggler. Mm -hmm. My seller would not deal with you. Especially you come to Wolamina. You're going to say, Wolamina, what is your role? That is a very good question. The seller hired Wilhelmina because the seller sick and tired dealing with the smuggler. Seller lost money, uh, lo lost money, lost gold. 2019, my seller in Conakry lost 450 kilos. Mm -hmm. Because I have three different sellers in Conakry. And the eldest son, he believed the buyer from Paris, 450 kilos, 100 CIF, without the knowledge of the father. Because this is stupid smuggler promised the eldest son that they are going to invest in mining. So the eldest son was naive and he made a decision to ship the gold to Paris. When the gold arrived in Paris, the buyer cannot be found and the gold was missing. So when the father found out that they lose 450 kilos, the father was screaming in the office. I was there and the father 
curse his eldest son. Mm -hmm. And I was listening in the, in the reception and suddenly the father come down and he called me. Mrs. Ford, thank you for coming. And I told the father, what can I do for you? Mrs. Ford, we lose 450 kilos. In what way? My son agree on 100% CIF, cost insurance and freight only. And the seller did pay everything. So the father says to the eldest son, do not come back without $24 million. Mm -hmm. So the son cannot return to Conakry. Mm -hmm. So I told the father, as a motherly, because we are all matured, I told the father, you can find gold, you have plenty deposit in your mine, and you own the mine. You have only you have only one son. You have so many sons from different wives, but your son is the eldest, and he made the mistake, and you can recover it. Why not let your son come home? And forgive you, son. You know the father has tears in his eyes. And the second son was telling me, Mrs. Ford, you are the only person who can come down my dad. His dad always is screaming in the office. Because that gold belonged to the organization. Because that the seller of mine is a con consortium. So there are so many members on the consortium. 450 kilos. My seller lost gold and money, 24 million. Can you imagine? And then you're going to say, Africa is a scammer. Yes, you're part of the syndicate of scammer. My seller did agree. And I told my seller when I was in the office, I brought the buyer, 2019 and 20. And the buyer got the gold in the office. And my buyer said, what happened, Mrs. Ford? Or the seller, my boss lost 450 kilos. Mm -hmm. So I I begged the father and I told him, okay, I know your son made a mistake. Why not compromise being the father? You can recover your 24 million. You can recover your gold. You can just mine and mine. And he said, Mrs. Ford, that's not the way. By principle, I trusted my son because I'm getting older. I thought my son can manage. I hope the son is watching me. I'm not going to mention his name so that no one would know who he, whom I'm talking to. And uh, the father had tears in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, in Conakry, I have three sellers. In Mali, I have three sellers. In Sierra Leone, I have three sellers. I am the one will interview you, Mr. Baya. I am the one will reject you if you cannot prove that you are really a buyer. When you watch this video, I don't want you to come until you comprehend, until you read the full corporate offer. Click below, subscribe, because time to time, I updated the gold price of the day. Now we are Friday now, we are closing. The transaction or the, the world market will be closing Friday. So today is Friday morning in New York. In Dubai is Friday afternoon. In Paris is Friday morning. In Conakry in Africa, Friday afternoon. In Europe, in Germany, Friday morning. In California, Friday morning. So if we have a time difference. Australia belong to down under. Right. Now I'm going back to give you the update of the price again. Because every half an hour the price of gold chains. Right. Just a moment. Now the price of gold. 2700 2,273.15, the price of gold. 264,273.15, today. Okay, today. 
So Mr. Buyer, instead of running around, just pay attention. Your business would not function without the supply. There is a saying, supply and demand determine the price. You're going to see, well, I mean, what is the price? I already mentioned it. The price is 64273 today. But you have not. Confirm your order. You haven't. Say, oh, Mrs. Ford, too expensive. Of course. You're buying expensive item. item. You are buying world asset. This is a safe haven. This is gold. Gold has many uses. Click on the link and go on my platform on Facebook. Picture to picture. Which one you like to secure? You want to secure in Mali? You want to secure in Conakry? Or you want to secure in Sierra Leone? Go on my platform. On this video, there is a link. Click below. Read again on the full corporate offer. You're going to say, well, I mean, how much is the value tax? It depends. It depends on how I'm going to put you after my validation. You're going to say, well, I mean, what is the meaning of validation? Maybe you didn't go to school. Validation means you will be interviewed by Mrs. Ford. Yes. And if you don't meet the criteria, I consider you a time waster. Yeah. This is not for you if you don't have a capital. This is not for you. This is not for you. We don't sell one kilo. We don't sell 100 grams. This is for export. You went to Kampala, you went to Ghana, you went to Sierra Leone, you went to Mali, you went to Conakry, you fail. There's so many fake offer. Believe me, I saw one offer on uh, online on Facebook. They offer thirty five. They offer thirty eight. Mister Baya, think about it. If you s see on the group on WhatsApp. People offer you 32, 38. Think about it. Go on the world market. Why they offer you 38 that in fact the price is 64,273.15 on the world market? Think about it. I'll give you the answer. Maybe that gold has been stolen. Because in Africa, there's so many stolen gold. So many. That is the reason why the country would not allow any exporter without a proper export documentation the most important the certificate of clearance that the gold is free of illegal activities it is in here mr buyer click below everything is in here impossible you wouldn't understand if you don't understand please don't be involved in gold business don't because I, I'm telling you, you are going to burn yourself. Just like this, um, this buyer from Asia. He went to Kampala. What happened? He didn't get the gold. Another buyer from Dubai that I, I discussed with you a while ago. He's a young guy from Pakistan. He was talking to me and he go behind my back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was been offered under value, not knowing he was been dealing with my seller. Yeah, and he sent me a text that he is in Kunakri, right? And I disguise, and he showed me the contract. I said, okay, show me the contract. He was been offered thirty five thousand dollars, and I told him, hmm, I doubt you will get thirty five thousand dollars. Yeah, this Pakistan guy, he's a very young guy. And he said that uh, he works for the company. And I said to him, go to the office and meet the CEO. Because the contract is not the signature of the CEO. How do you know? Just go there and tell me the name of the CEO. Mm -hmm. So he went to the office and then he returned. He was being scared. I told him, why you been scared? Abraham is not around. I said, really? Because the contract signed Abraham. I told him, Abraham is a broker. Right. And he said, really? I said, yes. So while I'm in, 
asking question to this Kakistan. He's based in Dubai. He works for the big company, he said. And he said that he has a big appetite. And I told him, I don't think so. If you have a big appetite, because you're asking cheap price. Uh -huh. And you know Dubai is, hung, is crying for gold. So suddenly, when he went to the office and he returned, and the driver picked him up outside, and I know the driver. And I told him, you know what? You also deceive yourself. You are dealing with my seller. So, and he said, really? He said, yes. And my seller rejected you, isn't it? How did you know? I've spoken to my boss. I am the extension of my seller. And he said, wow. I'm sorry, Wilhelmina. I said, well, it's too late. He was rejected. Yes, there's no way you could get $35,000. So he returned to Dubai empty-handed. And you know what he did? He offered me a job. Wilhelmina, why not work with us? I said, no, I'm not interested. I'm not. Because you deceive yourself in the beginning. And I don't want to deal with a deceitful person. A minute... A buyer cannot identify himself. A minute that the buyer cannot open his camera during my live video call to me, you are not a buyer. To me, you are a swindler. To me, you are a gold launderer. Why are you scared for? Why are you hide your face? Why are you hide? Why are you hide? You don't need to hide because this is million dollars you, you're buying and you're representing a company. And then you come to Wilhelmina, I am a buyer. I don't think so if you're a buyer because you already saw my video. If you are a buyer, you have to understand. It says after you read this full corporate offer below, it says show more. You need to send me a letter of interest to purchase coming from the buyer. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, well, Amina, what is the format of LOI? Did you go to school? How to make it? The letter of interest it says, Dear well, Amina, I watch your YouTube channel and we are the buyer on your company letterhead. We are looking for 22 carats, Wilhelmina. The purity we are looking for is 9596. The purpose we are going to buy gold, Wilhelmina, is to make into jewelry. Or we're going to refine it to make into 99.99. Right. So gold has many uses. Go on my platform on Facebook. There is a picture was explained thoroughly. If you cannot comprehend to me, you are not a buyer. Really. Because when my seller hired me, my seller didn't explain to me like this. Didn't. Because my seller is busy, always in the mind. They only come to the office when there is a buyer. I was the one who expand this one. Most of the joker broker, they hate my guts. Too bad if you hate my guts. Because I am not here to make friends. I am here to rectify your stupidness and crookedness. Thinking that Africa, you can get gold. And then you say Africa is full of scam. Yes, correct. You are part of the scammer. You are. And the seller who offer you, you are involved on scamming. You are involved on laundering. The real seller would not do that. Why? According to my seller, they cannot afford to lose their license. Because once the government found out that they are involved in gold laundering, their license will be revoked. And my seller have worker to feed. Uh -huh. And you are a trader. Your eyes is bigger than a profit. You will only get the profit if you have this. Right. You will only get the profit if you have a capital like this. Right. This is Australian dollar. Right. I live in Australia. Without this, you would never, never get the profit. We are talking about US dollar here. Right. So, Mr. Buyer, 
You are scared with Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina is not going to harm you. Wilhelmina would love to assist you. You are using Wilhelmina's services. If you're watching on every video, it says information worth a million dollars. You are lucky to meet Wilhelmina. You're lucky that you found my YouTube channel. This is a million dollar. The seller would not explain to you like this. No. No. You're going to say, here's the price. Pay taxes. Come, come, come. Don't come. Because you're going to fail. You are going to fail, I'm telling you. Just like this Indian. They are in Sierra Leone right now. Madam, I'm in Sierra Leone. I said, why? We're going to buy gold and then, Madam, please help me. I cannot. Because our policy, we don't entertain buyer already on the ground. Why? You were window shopping. You were being offered cheap price and your ice is bigger than a dollar. You flew to Sierra Leone. Yes, there's a lot. There's a lot of deceitful. Remember, I'm going to give you a parable in life. Jesus Christ had 12 disciples, right? The scammer is Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was persecuted because Judas tell the people that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. And Judas sold Jesus Christ of 17 sterling. Mm -hmm. Judas is the scammer. And you are one of the scammer. Why? You are looking for cheap price. Don't you know that when the miner touch the soil 5 o'clock in the morning, they are going to worship it in the village. I was on the mine. They have to pray. That is their, that is their um, habit to pray. Gold is God to them. But they, cannot, they are in business, right? But you guys are just sitting down on your chair. You think, oh, bring the gold. I will pay. See, I admit it don't work. There are so many foreigner Australians and Africans stranded in Dubai. I met them. One American was stranded in Dubai for three years and recently he was being deported in the United States. Mm. I told this American guy, don't travel to Kampala. He has only $45,000 and his partner is an Indian. The Indian said, oh, don't, don't pay. Just pay taxes for 30 kilos. So what happened? The gold didn't arrive. Now he was been stranded in Dubai for three years. Every time I come to Dubai, I call him, come and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Be my guest. I have a good heart. But you, you guys, you're, you're crook. Excuse my language, really. Because I know I've been to Africa several times. I've been to Africa. And I only travel when the buyer can afford because my services is not for free. I've given you free services already worth a million dollars of information. But when I travel, it's different. I do charge my services to assist you. Now let's talk about the price. I already explained to you time to time, repeat and repeat. Now, the price is 64273 right? Now you are buying unrefined. You are not buying refined. So, the price of unrefined, just bear with me, is $58,710. You're going to say, oh, Wilhelmina, too expensive. Don't be panic. I am here to assist you. I have the power to talk to the office as long as you can convince me. After you read on this full corporate offer in front of you, digest it, comprehend it properly, then you are going to send Wilhelmina letter of interest to purchase called LOI. Send me your business registration, a copy. You already read the full corporate offer. A copy of your business registration, a copy of your importation license, 
a copy of your passport and the proof of one. If you're a big company, I want to know the profile of your company. That is how you convince us. Now, you're going to say, well, Amina, I don't want to share our information. Then don't be involved because you will fail. I am the boss. I am the extension. I'm based in Australia. This is my virtual office. Okay? My seller, trusted Dualamina, my seller, give me the instruction. Validate the buyer properly, Mrs. Ford, before we are going to respond. We will respond to your letter of interest. How many quantity you need? We will send you the father company profile of the seller, mining license, etc., etc. On the contract, the information of my seller is already there. We will send it to you to review it. Because you already convinced Walamina. Then when you review it and sign it, that's the time the seller will issue the landing visa together with me. I have 12 months visa. Right. So, I will accompany you in order to get the supply for your business. You say, oh, well, Amina, do I get the profit? Yes, you will. You will get the profit if big quantity. We don't sell five kilos. It's not worth it for you to travel. At least 10 to 20 kilos. It's worth it. You will get the profit of 6,000 per kilo i will give you a very good deal our selling price less eight percent you must remember out of sixty four thousand two hundred seventy three less eight percent now just a moment just a moment mm -hmm. i'm going back to the world market mm -hmm. just bear with me 64 now it's down now 64 190.53 so the price of gold is high and low so book now because there is a possibility that the gold will turn to 65 now because i'm charging my services mr buyer i'm going to give you 10 percent why i'm charging you my travel cost in return instead of eight percent i'm giving you ten percent mm -hmm. or eleven percent it depends on how many quantity okay you're gonna see well i mean how much you're going to charge your services i only charge my travel cost to cover to accompany you i do charge twenty thousand dollars non-refundable it covers only my airline ticket from Australia to Africa, my hotel accommodation, and spending money. You're going to stay in Africa eight working days. Why? To transfer your payment, it takes three working days. Now, once you receive the contract, Mr. Buyer, you get back to Alamina, and then I will explain to you thoroughly. So, first of all, Mr. Buyer, you read first the full corporate offer. It's on here. I only update because of the price. Monday, the price can be 65. Can be. Because I was reading on Kitco. There is a possibility that the price will turn to 2,500. I, I just finished reading that Kitco.com. If 2,500, right, on Monday, this could be. Mr. Baya. So don't prolong. Talk to Wilhelmina. Place an order. I will fix it. I have the power to negotiate on your behalf. Because the seller believe me that I validated you properly. Which one you want to travel? Sierra Leone, Mali, or Conakry? After you read this... Uh, Full corporate offer, Mr. Buyer, click below 
when you come for conference. I want you to introduce yourself. Do not say hi because I don't like it. You need to introduce yourself. Hi, Wilhelmina. I watch your video. I am Mr. So-and-so. I came from Japan or Korea or Singapore. I am the buyer. You need to introduce yourself. Just like when you apply for a job. You will be interviewed this lady. This lady is very, very tough. All right. Thank you very much. And I shall see you. Take time to read. Scroll down. Digest it properly. Then you come back. We will do business together.